They're gonna be. This is black. I thought they were a little more the, blue. The, there are like so many blue. cute selfies in this mirror. Why? Isn't it pretty? Hey guys, how are you? My name is Anna and welcome to today's video. So today is a little different type of video than I usually make. My husband and I just moved in to our own separate apartment, you could say. It's actually our parents' basement and we bought a whole bunch of new stuff, furniture, just everything in general and I wanted to share that with you guys. These are all items that I think would interest all of you. It's my cloud couch dupe, you can say. I got the primrose mirror from Anthropology. I got some really nice bar stools, an espresso machine, and these are just things that I think would interest you. So I did it like an unboxing, and from those unboxing videos I filmed, it's actually been over a month that I filmed that. So I figured I would give you like a month update whether I still like these items or not, whether or not I still think that price is worth it just because they were on the pricier side. I think the format of this video will be me talking about the items and unboxing them and then a month later whether or not I like them and I still think they're worth it. So let me know if you like this type of video. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram and let's just get into it. So first off, we can start off with my cloud couch dupe. Now, it's not exactly the same thing as the cloud couch. So if you don't know what the cloud couch is, it's like this crazy expensive couch from Restoration Hardware, which I unfortunately will probably never buy for myself because it's just too crazy expensive. And so I've been looking for dupes for a very long time. While I'm talking, I'm probably going to put us unpacking on the screen. So I've been looking for a dupe for a long time. I did find a different one that is actually white. I'll have it linked down below if just in case you like that one better. This one I got from Ashley Furniture. It's not exactly white. It is a little bit ivory. I'm actually sitting on a piece of it. So it's a little bit off-white. So this is it. Let me see if I can find something white to show you the difference. So this is the pillow from the couch and this is a white sweater I have. So when comparing, it's actually a pretty big difference between the colors. If you want the, a white dupe, I would recommend checking out the other link that I have. But I actually didn't see the color of this couch when ordering it. I thought it would be white when it came in. I knew it was like ivory. I just expected it to be more white. But I'm actually very, very, very happy with the color that it is just because we do have people come over a lot and we do have a dog and my parents dog that come down and lay on the couches. So it honestly is really nice that it's a little bit darker. It doesn't get as dirty as quick. We love the couch from the very beginning. I want to sit on it all together and experience it together. All right, come here. Come here. Okay, uh, I guess I like the color of it. The color looks very nice. It's a and it adds some texture. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's a person. I told them to. <laughs> We're supposed to go together. Oh, Open up, open up. Okay, mom, let's go. Let's try it out. So, Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> So, do you see how it's like a, like a pillow? Oh, 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 oh. Good boy. It's coming. It's like a padushka, right? That's why I like them. Oliver's cloud couch. That was quick. Ow. So do you like the couch? Yeah, it's comfy. Like a cloud pillows. You like the couch? Yes, I do. And it's been over a month and we still love it now. So the couch that we have is the five piece sectional. You can kind of customize it however you want. There's also an ottoman that you can get with it. It is a five piece sectional, but we figured that the five piece would be too big for our living room right now, especially with the Christmas tree there. So we put a piece of it in our bedroom as like an accent chair and kind of just made this area here in our bedroom. And I think we're gonna keep it that way. The couch over there is big enough that we can remove a piece. But I also love the option that if we were to have more people over or if we want a bigger couch, we can 
can always insert a piece of this couch back in there and make it bigger and if we want it smaller we can always take it out just i i love being able to customize it so honestly i should have mentioned this first but the fact that it is like a pillow like it's not a regular like foam it is like the cloud couch it is like a pillow is awesome i i love it it's one of the most comfortable couches i have ever sat on and so far it's been great that being said i've only had it for a month um beware my friend has had this couch but in a different color for over a year now and she said she's starting to hate it because um the pillows like squish down and you have to puff them up a lot and she already like bought new foam to put in there so it was a little bit more sturdy i when researching the cloud couch and researching dupes all the reviews for any of these couches all of them said you will have to fluff up the cushions a lot so i was already going into the mentality that i will have to do that so for me it's not a big deal fluffing them up every few days keep in mind that you will have to fluff them up the pillows might slouch when there's people over when a lot of people sit on it for me not a big deal for some people they might hate it and it might be the most annoying thing these they do have zippers they are machine washable so you can zip it off throw them in the wash wash the cushions put, put them back on which is awesome if you have kids or if you have dogs like we do also a Dyson vacuum a lot of dog hair up if it happens to be there but overall I really really love this couch I know it's only been a month maybe later on I won't like it as much if you know my friend already doesn't like hers um, she's had it for a year but so far I've been loving it I we got the five-piece one and although it isn't exactly like the restoration hardware one it is pretty similar to where I'm extremely content especially because it was much 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 cheaper than the cloud couch um definitely check out ashley furniture if you have the store like near you online this couch was twenty five hundred dollars we got it for like more than a grand less than that so definitely go to your ashley furniture store so i think that covers the couch it's machine washable it's you do have to fluff it up but it's very it's very comfortable and i love it a lot and i'm actually you know enjoying it in my room as well. Woohoo! Drops it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's gonna be so many cute selfies in this mirror. Why? Isn't it pretty, babe? Yeah, it's cool. Do you like it? <laughs> Is this my Christmas present? Yeah, and <laughs> birthday present. <laughs> Having fun there, bud? Oh, I love it. It is so pretty. Wow. I'm a true YouTuber now. Was it worth it? Yeah. Was it? Why? It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I feel like a princess. Oliver, always making noise in my videos. So my wardrobe here and my room is still a work in progress. So there's the couch as you can see in that little corner. But here is the mirror. So it's been a month of having this mirror and honestly, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm so, so, so happy that I got this mirror for myself. It's so beautiful. I love all the detailing of it. I just, I love it. I like when I do my makeup, I do my hair. I just take selfies in it. It makes me happy. Now, I did get this mirror on the Black Friday sale. It was 30% off. Would I get this mirror not on a Black Friday sale? I don't know. Honestly, um, $500 is kind of expensive for a mirror. Um, the smallest one, but with the Black Friday sale, um, it's a hundred percent definitely worth it They always have it. They've had this mirror for years and I believe that they'll always be doing the Black Friday 30% sale off So just keep your eye on on it for next year if you have it already. So nice. I love this mirror So one of the other purchases we made was our Nespresso machine We have the virtual next that came with the milk frother
We got the Nespresso Virtual Next and it came in a combo with a um, milk frother. This is all coffee. Look how nice these mugs are. They were free. I love it. We got four of them. Honestly, hands down, one of the best purchases I have ever made. It is amazing. I love it. So with the Black Friday deal, we got the machine with the frother for $125. I believe they may have that sale still going. I've seen it floating around here and there with their machines being on sale now. I love it. I've been using it every day and the coffee it's just a lot easier to use, especially to make like lattes and cappuccinos and just regular coffees. It's a lot easier to use than other machines I have had. And also the coffee tastes a lot better than just like from a regular Keurig. I've actually been making um, the iced one recently and into the milk frother I put, instead of milk, I put half and half. I put a little bit of like vanilla extract and vanilla sweetener. And the milk frother has options for um, to make cold foam. It has an option for like cappuccino foam, latte foam, and just steamed milk. So you can make a little foam, you can make a lot of foam, like really dense, or you can just steam the milk. It's completely up to you of what kind of milk you want. So I'm not too sure of what my favorite coffees are yet. All of them are good, but there are a few that have really stood out to me. Overall, $125 is not that much for an espresso that comes with a milk frother. That purchase itself isn't the expensive part. Just compared to other machines, the expensive part is buying the pods. This specific Nespresso, it's about a dollar, a dollar ten cents per cup. So that's when it gets expensive is buying these pods. The original machines, they're like 70 cents a pod. So we decided to just take the hit because Max and I both really love coffee. Him going to work, me going back to school, we just figured this is a purchase we will make because we do like coffee. If you're like, eh, about coffee, I don't know. But if you love coffee and you wanna make it like simple and easy for yourself, Definitely check out the Nespresso machines. Honestly, I cannot vouch enough for them. And the last significant purchase I would call it that we made is our uh, bar stools. It's our stools that we use for our island. So here is our first impression. Wow, they're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Look. They look a little more blue. No, they're they're gonna be. This is black. I thought they were a little more the, blue. The, are they these on or no? Yeah, we can for now. Um, oh wait, hold on. We ordered. There's, there's. Yeah, people said this is what scratches the floors, so they take them off and put the felt. But we'll see with these floors. You like it? It's finally right size height. We need to get our faces. Put your head down. Put the camera up. It looks so good. We could get away with... Wow, I'm so happy. It makes the kitchen look so nice. I know. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. I gotta go, look. So it's been a month of sitting on these stools and we love them. We have had friends come over and sit on them. They're still in perfect condition. The reason I love them is we did get them on sale, but either way, this website had them for cheaper than anywhere else I've seen them. I've seen them on Wayfair, I believe, also for like a decent price. The website we got them off of was they were $80 a pop as where like if you get the real ones, these are a dupe for the Serena and Lily ones. So the Serena and Lily ones, I'll, I'll post a screenshot of it. They are $248 per stool, which never in my life would I do. I mean, unless I was like a billionaire. So $80 versus $248, complete, complete difference. Like. For one Serena and Lily bar stool, you would get three of these stools. I'm not sure if they're on sale anymore. Either way, I'll post the links to all the dupes I found of those bar stools. 
but I love them. They're, they're beautiful, they're comfortable, and they look great in our kitchen. So it's been a good month with our stools. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this type of video. I hope you enjoyed how you got to see my first impressions of these items and also my review of it a month later. I still love everything I bought, which I'm so grateful for because these four things were the more expensive items that we have bought for our place. There are items that I have been saving up for a while, like the mirror I wanted like six months ago, but Max was very adamant about waiting for Black Friday to make these big purchases, which I am so glad that we did. So we, we did save up for quite a few months because we knew we would be moving out and we knew we would need new furniture. So I, I'm very grateful and blessed that we were able to buy these items for our home. Um, let me know if you like this. I'll have all the links for everything down below of where I found them. I'll also have some other dupes mentioned on there in case you wanted to check out other options. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.